Microfinance, let's think of that as financial services for the poor. So think about um, the things that your, your bank provides for you, and that includes savings and loans and insurance and all those little products. Think of how those would be tailored to the needs of somebody that makes a few dollars a day. Microcredit, if you will, fits under the broader scheme of microfinance. Microcredit specifically are the loans that go out to the very poor who have otherwise no access to credit. It's worth noting this has been around for a long time. I mean, people have been providing small loans to each other in various forms forever. The modern movement of microfinance is accredited to a man in Bangladesh named Dr. Mohamed Yunus. Since 1976, this model has spread throughout the developing world. It has changed the approach that organizations take towards poverty alleviation. There is a shift. There is a shift. And really, the old way has been exactly what, um, what I mentioned earlier, that there is a very top-down approach to development, and a new way is simply a bottom-up approach to development. And it's changing, it's transforming, specifically the IMF, the World Bank, all those major institutions are now changing a lot of their approaches towards poverty eradication. Kiva is a web-based organization that was co-founded by Jessica Flannery. Through the website, anyone can give a microcredit loan to indigenous entrepreneurs all over the developing world. Since the inception in October of 2006, they have given over $30 million in loans. People browse these profiles and are able to lend as little as $25 to the loan need. Kiva passes that money along to these microfinance institutions all around the world that we partner with, that then actually does the real hard work and administers the loan to the goat herder or the seamstress that that lender has specified. You know, trains them, collects repayments, does all of the real in the field, on the ground work. Throughout the whole course of it, lenders are hearing how things are going. So they're getting repayment updates. Ideally, they're getting some qualitative stuff too, like a, a photo of you know, the new goat or the new sewing machine and anecdotal uh, stories about how, how things are changing in that person's life and in their family's life. Sacred desire is that urge that urges us to connect with each other and to connect with God, creation, the universe. If you've ever looked at a newborn baby and um, seen how that baby looks at its caregiver, you see that urge and you see the two of them connecting. Martin Luther King said, we are caught in an inescapable network of mutuality tied in a single garment of destiny. Whatever affects one directly affects all indirectly. There's a part of our brain cortex that um, has to do with motor actions so that if I pick up this book, the motor area of my cortex will light up. Education is the key to ending poverty. 
Rainbow Network's education program is twofold. First, we provide education to young children, basic elementary education, reading, writing, and arithmetic to thousands of children. Second, we provide scholarships so that children can attend high school. We don't build schools. We just make it possible for students to attend schools that are there. It's more efficient, more effective, and it's better for the future of Nicaragua.